So we do have this combo again enabled. So I'll be tossing Moren since it's the least reliable card. And then I think Morvud works as well to toss. We do have Red of it. And uh, of course we'll draw a Roach. Um, we can play with the 11 right first. On you what do you say? We've got quite a good hand, honestly. Mm, that's a solid play as well. And we don't have... Um, we don't have an Eskel that can hit that, sadly. Eskel can hit this, most likely. Oh, that's a very, un a very unlucky draw, honestly. Unless he has a way to take armor off of this. That's a 15-point play. Oh, no. Does he have armor? No. Hmm. Could play Saltkirk here. I will play Saltkirk here. No it's a very strong play I just made, but I think it's fair. I think Radovid has a bit more power to be saved. Let's get this over with. And this is a great pass. One point ahead. Perfect pass. He gets the carryover. Doesn't honestly matter. We've got a great Sigurd for our last play. Uh, 18 points. It's not great, great, but it's good. It's a, it's a solid 8 points, you know. Now we could rather with this here to disable 4 carryover, but I really don't think it's worth it. Uh, disable 2 carryover. I'd rather reveal some cards that he's got in his hand. I don't know what the Royal Decree is. I don't know what that will be. So this reveal is somewhat worthless, other than the fact that I know he's going to have a gold. Hmm. This as well. We don't have an opening play. I guess Moren will have to be it. Hopefully Eskel will find a target past Morgvarg. With pleasure. That's okay. Hitting a 5 is good enough for me. That seems like a very strong play though. Poet, Coral, and we do know that his, if we Sigurd Rifa this, he just Corals it. That's unfortunate, but we did just get Poet. We did just get Poet, that's actually wonderful. Do we, do we add of it here? I think we do. It's a fairly okay add of it. We can take Poet and we take, can take Geralt. The good of the empire, that is what matters. We have a lock on this. That's gonna be great later on. Asking me for help. Now that's smart. Ariel's been chosen. The it's quite good. 18 point play. That's a great Vilgefort target. And we have another Dandelion if we want it. It wasn't simply 18 points. Okay, we're gonna have to pass here. I mean, we're gonna have to weather clear here, sorry. That's fair. Two eights is a bit unfortunate in case he's got Gigni. Haven't seen a Gigni yet though. We need something that Eskel can hit. Will he rain that though? Or will he just do 12? Seems just a 12 will come out. I would rather not Eskel there. I will Vilgefortz. You mistake stars reflected in a pond for the night sky. Solid. 
There will be rain or frost, perhaps. Put Joachim at the bottom or put Tibur at the bottom? Joachim. Tibur's a less than a 15. Hmm. Do we put Yes. If he's got a Rhine farm, that that's disgusting, but oh well. I really just want him to use Coral earlier now. So I might play more wood on this. Strong. Haven't killed this off, and I don't think I don't believe we can, because he hasn't killed this. This coral is quite strong. I don't know what that rascal can do. I can do a great deal. Nice. That's lovely for me. Unless he's got another one. I would love to be able to kill this. But Eskel can't kill it. And this didn't die for it, so I could couldn't res this and kill this. Guess we will just blue dream dandelion like poet. But you sure as shit need me. Oh, that's a good Eskel. No 16 points, good enough for me. We're 36 points ahead now. He killed it now. Too bad. So do we take the poet? Draw and card. Scallon would be probably the worst. Or a 17. I'm pretty sure we on average draw more than a 10. And if we draw a 10, which is Scallon, the worst card, then we're still okay. A bad feeling about this. I shall do as you command. In case of um, DJ or something of the like. Saltkirk. Okay. Not good enough to win. He did play quite a few really great goals, but not good enough. Okay, Foltest. That means Askel is only good before Foltest hits. Do we toss Foltest Sprite or do we toss Dragoon? I'll toss the Dragoon and that's great actually. Mm. I say that. There will be rain or frost, we want to put Shiro at the bottom. We want to put Coral at the bottom, yeah? Yeah, we do. So he's got two bronze weather clears actually. A lock, Drowner, Ale, Era. Put Coral at the bottom. Do we want to strengthen the Roach rather than the 7? I think so. We're 100% to see Roach. Again. Of your own I should say. Quite okay. We've been playing round 1 with this deck quite often, but I think that's fair. I think this deck does get better when it gets its reses enabled. Our world is in harmony. Not the strongest play. So what? Should I pound it into a portal? That's a Gigni if he's got it. I'm just gonna assume he doesn't have a Gigni. And I should probably use Eskel this round. Because otherwise I won't be getting Eskel value. I don't want to enable an easy hand salt. I can help you if you wish. That does technically enable Blue Dream, though I would rather not play that card if possible. Mm. I'll definitely play Eskel here. I just need to. As I said, otherwise Eskel finds zero value in this game.
I would love for him to play another good gold before I pass. I didn't see Gigni in his deck, so that's good for me. It does have quite a bit of weather clear though. Aryo's been chosen. The gods speak to him. So I kinda still wanna continue playing a bit. Should have maybe kept the 10 because I know he's got the Shiro. How about a game of Gwent? This seems to be a good point to pass. Definitely a good point to pass. I want to wait on Aeol before I commit Karanter. And we definitely want to toss the 10 away. I want to draw Skellen to play this turn, I think. Maybe. Skellen, Saltkirk, what are good draws? Velgafort's main Skellen is better later on. I will be tossing this, even though this is a 12 and this is an 11. Okay, maybe we toss this. That's, that's actually... Okay, fine. Dragoon as a passing play seems fairly good. He also has a roach in his hand. deck. Okay. Yeah, Dragoon as a passing play seems fine. We could have put the roach back into our deck. I would rather increase the chance of us drawing one of our golds than put the roach back here. Because this is still an 11 point play, you know? Where does that might just trade with a... Okay, that's that's good. Toss the 12? I'll toss the 12. This is a good card. I shall do as you command. I can put this back into his deck. It's a pretty bad card. It's a fairly bad card. We can always blue dream this as long as we play five units. Hmm. That's gonna be fairly hard with double blue dream. Unless we play Ermion, which I guess we could. But I think the Ermion has a similar problem as Vilgefortz does. Troops, here now! I could just lock this as a 10 point play. I have another lock available later on. That's fair. Fairly good. Do not test my patience. It's okay with me though. No, it's a hey, that's weather clear. I think he's got more weather clear. Do we? I don't want to play this nine. I um, I don't want to play that yet either. I think we play this now. He might have Aeol in deck, but I think that's fair. We just got 8 point Roach. Disgusting. Okay, no Aeol. No Aeol, we can play this, we can play this. Let's show him what real art is. That's a 20 point play. It's very strong. I know he's got Shiro, so all we have to do is not enable like a 50 point share or something. Currently it's only 19 points, so I don't really mind. This is probably the best Vilgefortz target, so we might as well just Vilgefortz now. Kills the Roach. Uh, we don't have a way to re-enable it. To re-put it into our deck. Re-put it into our deck. Yes. Wonderful words. Oh, perfect actually. Got the 12 points with this card. Very unlikely to get that, well, but we did it. So he kills that. Interesting. Hmm. I think we just... I think we do this. We play another 20 points with the blue dream. This is scary if he has like 6 and then 3 damage somehow, but I don't think he does. And now I think I'll just play the 9 points here. And win the game off of it. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. 37 points required, no chance. Again, we have the strengthened boys and we have Sigurdrifa. Great. So we toss this boy, toss this boy. 
And I think we do toss this boy. Great. Great draws. Could take an either to kill it off. Could just do this, and that's also fair. That's uh, that's a card I'd like to toss away. How do we get rid of this card? Why would you ever pick Stegobor? I guess he doesn't have any random draw from deck cards, maybe. Unfortunate. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. This is fair. We are player two. So better for us than for him. We can even play Zartisius here. Assassination, if only we had a Mandrake. It is how I punish those who irritate me. This is an 11, a 13 res. Currently, this means Sigurdrifa is 16 power. This is one point, so... I guess that's not great, is it? Oh, I will play this. In my uh, let's put that shoop on the bottom. Thank you very much. We also saw a Shani and a Dandelion Poet, but Troop at the bottom, very good for us. Your will be done, sire. It's a one deal nine, that's much better than my one deal nothing. Sorry, not deal nothing, do nothing. I, I think at this point we can play, we can simply play this. Play some weather, and we're okay with that. The weather clears, he doesn't gain tempo back, and we gain two card advantage. And then if he dry passes, we can actually just play this. Be nothing to pick up when I'm done Damage doesn't actually do that much here. It's okay for him, but it's not that okay for him. I think a Baya can come out here. Very strong card. Very, very strong. Maybe the reason he did that is to re-enable death mold. Nice. Lovely. I just need to get rid of this card and not draw it. So, if we get Stefan and, like, Vilgefortz, we're gonna keep Stefan for round 3, so we don't cap have to play this card. That's a good card. Double Blue Dream is okay, there's a Yennefer. As long as we can swarm the, the board a bit. I'm not interested. A 12 plus swap. Again, troops at the bottom. He won't find troop, so very happy with that. It's other things I'm not very happy with. Uh, mainly, I have a one point card in my deck. Eskel's okay. I would love to toss this, but the chance of me drawing the one, too high. I'll keep. We have a good card here to play. I can help you and you this wish. a 13. Again, not bad. So we put the Roach back in, that's fine. And do we put anything back into his deck? We could put Melane back into his deck. No. Victory for you. 
Great. Great Askel target, honestly. Might be a better, you know, Ida here. Why have you summoned me? Actually, this is quite good for me. Because at this point, uh, my Yennefer is getting much stronger. So I definitely want to play this boy first. Uh oh. Organic. Okay. Unfortunate. What do you seek? So Yennefer is much weaker now. We could now Kahir is doomed. Mm. Yes. What is it? We can put the eleven back into our deck. In case we somehow draw it. Well, with Ermion we could draw it. Do we kill this 8? Or do we kill the 10? Stand and fight, cowards. Okay, kill the 8. Get the Roach. Currently I have 3 additional units on board, so that's a 12, a 13, uh, a 15. When he plays a card, it's gonna be back to 13. The Yennefer. Mm. But that's my only other card I can use to kill well, my opponents. Shani. Unfortunate, man. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. It's still 10 points plus 2, 12, 13 points, still okay. And apparently I had enough to win. Again, we got our strengthened boys. We will be tossing this. We don't need this boy. We got this boy. Don't need this for weather clear. And I think we do we toss the Moran? Yes. Moran isn't really playable round one. We didn't draw our golds though. Oof. Is this our passing play? This is our passing play, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is also our first play next turn. Hmm. Hmm. I guess a Demune Pirate wouldn't be that bad to draw. But probably a Dragoon. The best quote-unquote passive play I can draw. Uh... Proactive, another way of saying it, without being a Dumbo. Hmm, okay. Take that. Maybe you should have tossed this and kept the art spore for this round. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Cartool, Doomer. I appreciate it. And Kurtwell, I hope you enjoy the additional 50 IQ gain. It's some value right there. The gods are with us. So we most likely go down a card here, actually. I don't want to make this too big. I want to kind of spread the points. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. There is no escape. That would be quite a good Ascal target, but I think we can pass it. He's got bronze weather clear, I'm very sad, but that is okay. Okay. It's a 19. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. Hmm. He hasn't played Weather Clear. So we can actually play this for our 12 points. Quite strong. We might have trouble getting card advantage back though. Maybe Eskel can do it. 16 point tempo, not bad. DJA. Unfortunate. 
at what point do we take this loss? Nice. All right. We have armor in our rows, so that that's something, you know. Still, blue dream enabled on this, which is okay. That's a nine plus eleven. I shall not that's only fail. a ten. Hmm. If only you could deal damage with this to this. We could lock it. It is how I punish those who irritate me. I guess in this position all I'm doing is kind of bleeding my opponent. Is no that is completely fine. Play weak cards and have some really strong cards left for round 3. I uh, possibly should have kept one of my golds because this does not count as playing a gold unit from my hand. Meaning I might not actually enable Roach. That would be sad. Why have you summoned me? Would be quite sad. Still, this is a 17 point play. 20 points with this. Sorry, 15, 18 with this. Uh, counted it 2 points higher than I should have. We are down a card, however. And I need to draw a gold. That is not a good enough card. You didn't draw gold. So Roach is not actually going to go back into my deck. Unless... Unless... Hmm. No, that doesn't work. Pleasure. Unless we kill Poet... And... I guess we can kill Poet, Blue Dream Poet, find a card to play with it. Fight for the Emperor and you so first I'll play Dragoon. There's been a mistake. I'm no mage. Then I'll play my, um... My Sigurd Rifa, kill the poet, play the 11 later actually, sure. Merciless is, is quite bad. We are ahead points right now, that's wonderful, and we can play poet here. I'm on it. He knows I've got this. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. Doesn't mean I can't kill Merciless to then steal Merciless in case he plays an ambush. But okay. This might be okay. That's a good card. I would have loved to have been able to steal that. Can technically still blue dream this boy 9 plus 8 plus 9 so 18 points plus 13 points i don't think that's good enough i think we have to go for poet and we have to find a gold a bad feeling about this unlucky if magic dies this world dies with it let us put bad cards into his hand so this is quite bad the reset is not that bad, but it is bad. There's eight points or so. Do we lose? I think this might be a loss. Had this been a gold, we would have been able to win. As a seer would have given us six free points here, and instead of 11, we'd have maybe a salt card here. That's okay. What? Unless he's got Ale that deals, you know, six to each unit in a row. No, it's a Shiro. We gave him an even stronger Shiro. Unlucky. Such is life. Oh, it could have found such a good card. Wee! No 9 and 0. Wee! Wee! What's this Philavendril now? Do not test hmm. my patience. Have to be careful of a random scorch. I will be tossing this card away. Keep that in my hand though. Mm, I think 
We toss this, right? Now toss that. Now Moren. Moren. Good hand, honestly. All I have to get into my graveyard is this currently, so that's not that bad. But I would love to also get Roach there. Just so... Asir can get gain some value. That seems to be a mage. Not a mage. I will ask all that. Sure, no problem. Rauch is out. Great. Now we can play our seven DL4. And then pass afterwards. I think that's fair. Damages the five. Why? Seems very weird. Ooh, nice. Buff on the nine, plus two points. That's great. We haven't enabled Blue Dream yet, so that's somewhat unfortunate. But there it is. There's the Blue Dream enabled. Um, we just have to kill that card now. I guess it's a red of it. And this also explains why that three damage happened. Hmm. I'd prefer to pass here if I can, honestly. But I guess winning this round's also okay. We just have to not overcommit. You can kill the Aguara. Steal the three back. The only good human is a unless he strengthens it here. Hmm, doesn't. We could also kill this. Take this and Grim. Or do we want to steal the four? So this is nine plus five, so fourteen. Or... We play this for a random elf. I think I like the random elf. If we even want to play Blue Dream here. It, it, we kind of have to, do we not? Kind of. Right Spalley! four points on board the seven does not win this round and i'm fairly sure he would pass sheesh that's unfortunate i'll take it mm, it's quite good good points there we can play another one of these, or we can save it for that. I think I'll kill this. It's a lot of points we just gained. And now we can also play the 19 points with that. Winning this round doesn't... Like, it's not that big a deal, though. No, that's just barely enough to stay ahead. One point. Tosses some really bad cards. Bad for me. We can play a Baya as a 15-point play here. I will take it. Could have also killed this for another blue dream target, but I think this might be the best blue dream here. Yes, by killing this, I do three less damage, two less damage than here. And we can steal a four afterwards, which would make it a eight plus five. That's 13 plus five, 18. God damn, that's annoying. Do we go for Isengrim again? It is either 17 or 2 plus. Unlikely to have 15 points there. Always willing, pal. Quite okay. And we're not playing into Scorch either. Because we have 111 here to block the double 10 Scorch. And he should have a very hard time playing 19 points here. So this will most likely be a pass. We are still looking for a gold unit to play from our hand. Just so we have our Asir enabled. Our Roach from Asir enabled. Mm. 
That might be carry over. No, but that's not good enough either. Great. Great, 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 great. We can actually pass. And we're very slightly ahead, which means he has to overcommit here. That's a very big committal, and it's an almost impossible for this to be carryover. If this gives the options of something like BTM and Scorch, and then what else could... Ah, uh, Necromancy is good enough. Damn. I was gonna say, if that's like BTM, Scorch, and what else could it be? What else could it actually be that it would be zero points? I'm not sure. Let's take a look. We're just looking for um our golds. Please. I don't wanna lose another game. Obvious. Moran seems okay. And that's a Xerthesius. That's great. So when do we play Moran? I think we have to play it soon. Um, yeah, let's just open with it. Can put the Roach back in. So this is at least a 17 point play. So not the worst thing ever. But we've used a lot of our power plays in round one, so... Kind of afraid of this one here. That's really annoying. He has second outlaw. Still one point behind. Only one point behind, I should say. Put Roach back in. Put this card back into his deck. Yeah? Yes. If he's got something like a um, DJ, good card to put back in. Fifteen points. Okay. There will be rain or frost. Uh, let me put Salt Kirk at the bottom here. I don't want to face a Salt Kirk. It's a very strong deck. Six golds, very strong. If only Roach went under the left, Melane wouldn't be as bad. Melane. Still, Melane is fourteen points. Slightly ahead with Shani. Uh, puts him six points ahead. We have to play this, which is only a 16. So, not the best position to be in. It's a Salt Kirk. That's a very strong Salt Kirk. Does he have six points? The Nordling's hatred for us. Of course he does. Worst card here, most likely Alchemist, followed up by this, and then Moren or this. Hmm, probably Moren actually. I committed a lot. Okay. Mm I've been getting somewhat punished by playing round one out because I've been using a lot of my strength in round one, but I think I think it's fair. I think what I've um, um, I need to enable blue dreams and I need to kind of enable the this Sigurdrifa and whatnot, so I think it's fine. I can do a that's a fairly early quarrel, and that's a Roach in your quarrel. Oh jeez. Give us all you got! A Roach in his deck as well. Hmm. Quite good. I really want to play this card, and then I really want to ask all next. This is not enough, so I need to tempo here. We've got a great Vilgefortz target here if we really want the Vilgefortz. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. As a Nike. Item as well with Palka. Mm. 
and strong. That is very strong. Billion barrels of burning pitch. I'm just gonna assume that's not the ru I should have played this. I'd rather go down to. Oh, it actually was the reveal. Wow. Should have played this instead. I'm a fool. Then again, our hand is looking pretty good for round 3. Okay, we don't have weather clear. Maybe we should have kept hold of that weather clear. We've... Oh, and we don't have blue dreams either. <laughs> this card's a bronze, just to increase his good draws. We're down a card now. Not the great position to be in. Uh, I messed up by not playing right of it immediately. Down a card. Have some good cards, though. These are some good cards. Do we want to toss the 8? He's got a red of it. The 8 is bad. To say the least. We could wait to see if he has a skeleton before playing this. We win. He's actually drawing bronzes. Why would you want to draw bronzes? Okay, one bronze, I guess. Toss the bad card away to gain a I not dead card. Time. Put the eight back into his deck. Must be an important lesson in this. Hmm. But what? Of course. Shall we? Even if he has weather cleared, it doesn't gain any points, especially if it's a mage. And we still have warrior on there. So that's okay with me. Ryan! Six points six point card he tossed away. Death. Let us kill that off. Weather already dealt 4 damage. I'm really happy with that. This is a 13 at the minimum here. And if he mages to weather clear, then this was disgustingly good. Because it prevents 9 damage from the from the mage as well. So kind of like 22 points. He's got some kind of movement though. Less less happy with that. I feel that this would be a good time to play. Zerthesius. I, I never err in my prediction. So Yerdan's kind of useless versus me. This is actually strong, this is quite strong, and this is disgustingly strong. So let's toss this at the bottom. Or did he toss away a six? But he tossed away a six. Did he truly toss away a striga? I was thinking maybe that's Moran. It might be, you know, trying to steal this as well. Hmm. What can we blue dream currently? Okay, so we've got the coral on here. That's a pretty good blue dream. We could also kill this in coral, but not great. Spells aren't that amazing. We have no crewmen, sadly, so that's fair. Let me just push this backwards. No strengthening on this. I guess my next play is just going to be um, Vilgefortz here. If he plays it in new, that's really scary though. Well, we still have Saltkirk. That's not the end of the world. 
I'll be playing that. Maybe enabling Melee in here. That is definitely Teruvial. That might even be amusing. Oh, we should not have played this on the side. Should have played this in here. So that's 14 points at the minimum, maybe 15. I don't think he's had anything buffed in hand by one. How is this a seven? Slightly confused. Oh, that's a great card we can kill. Potentially the best, the single best target here for Blue Dream. So 14 points ahead, weather is still ticking, and we've got a great blue dream. No Gigni enabled in back row for disgusting amounts of points. It's great. I guess we only killed the 7, but that's fair. We could kill the 9, actually. That's slightly better. Thirty-four, twenty. He needs twenty-one points here. That is not twenty-one points. That is most definitely not twenty-one points. And it, this was a seven. Oh, I see the ten plus one one. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty good. Let's see our rewards. <laughs> 